told my court recently um, that uh, I hadn't really considered ever watching is Days of Glory. It's uh, most notable for being Gregory Peck's film debut, having made his name on the New York stage. He went to Hollywood in the 1940s and shot this picture, which is pretty much a war propaganda movie. He plays Vladimir, the leader of a cell of uh, Russian partisan guerrillas during the Nazi invasion of the Soviet Union in 1941. And the story tells of his and his uh, him, his and his uh, me, uh, units travails, um, fighting the good fight, uh, repelling the invaders, um, struggling with uh, interpersonal relationships when a uh, ballerina joins the group, uh, and uh, her gradual uh, merging into the uh, unit, going from an outsider with little understanding of how to fight to shooting and escaping a uh, German prisoner, and finally um, holding the line to uh, prevent a group of, of uh, German tanks getting through. It's a pretty uh, solid, small-scale picture. It's a tight hour and 22 minutes or so, and it is quite staging. Um, although it's supposed to be set in, uh, in deepest Russia, it's very obviously been filmed partly on location in California. But it's uh, it, there is a, a ring of authenticity to it. Children fighting on the front line, um, the uh, interpersonal relationships of soldiers who don't get on and annoy each other, but who are joined together in, uh, in the heat of battle. And as a result, it's it's an interesting little time capsule. It's fascinating as well to see Gregory Peck right at the start of his career uh, as commanding and authoritative as he would be for the next 50 years. Um, and it's uh, an interesting work from the director Jacques Tourneur, whose work I've liked for many years, uh, particularly his work in horror films and ghost stories like uh, Cat People or um, Night of the Demon. Uh, he prided himself on that. He could turn his hand to any genre. So seeing him direct a war picture is not terribly surprising, but he gives it a mood, an atmosphere, a pace, and a level of human interest that sets it apart from a lot of other, frankly, B-picture programmes. And um, although it's not an exceptional film by any means, although it has its place in history, it's still a pretty solid, entertaining, and engaging hour and 22 